New Year, New You, and January is often a month where many of you take new jobs, explore new steps in their journey, discover new career paths. Now for leaders recruiting, it's the most important job, but it's also one of the most complicated ones because once you've made the, the decision of hiring the final candidate, you wanna check references and that's hard too. But don't worry, I'm gonna break this down for you and simplifying it all in this car cast. Now, if you're not one of the 6 million viewers who catch this car cast everywhere it's syndicated, I'd love for you to subscribe on YouTube right here because it will be the best way to stay on top of these videos as they publish. All right, I'm assuming that if you're watching this, you're interested in hiring and scaling people. A few weeks ago, I did a review of Silicon Valley's legend, Claire Hughes Johnson's book on how to do just that. So stick until the end of this video to get access to that review. But today we're gonna to cover how to do reference checks. And I found that three critical steps are required to do this well. The first one is you gotta provide clear context to the reference when you're calling on them so they can understand what you're hiring for. And so what I mean by that is primary responsibilities of the candidate, their aptitude, their attitude that's gonna make them successful once they get hired. And you wanna give them the KPIs of how their work is gonna be measured. KPIs on the what and KPIs on the how. And finally, you also want to explain when this candidate gets hired, these will be the profiles of the types of people they will work, where, will work with the most and the folks they will work with the least. That's one. Second step of hiring and checking references well is getting oriented. You want to understand where the reference can effectively provide you with feedback. So you want to know how long have you known the candidates? In what capacity and context did you work with the candidate? And how often did you interact with the candidate? And finally, the last step is drill into the candidate attributes, both the attitude and the aptitude. So for instance, you can ask, what tasks, project, problems, are they the best in the world at? If they worked for you today, for instance, what advice would you give them to 10X their impact? How did the candidate handle difficult situations or conflicts? Do you have any examples? And then my favorite, why do you think the candidates might be wanting this job in their stage of their career? Now, as you're developing a rapport with the reference, you can ask more questions like that. Like for instance, why do you think this candidate might be the most afraid of when taking this job? So you can kind of assess vulnerability and how you can help them and make them successful when they join. And then of course, my favorite, what did I not ask you that I should have? to provide kind of a sense of your blind spots as you're interviewing references. Now, like I said, you're gonna find more information in the video that's popping up right now. I hope you get a ton of value of these car casts. If you do, remember to subscribe, comment, like, stay in touch, and I'll see you very soon.